Hey guys, so far I just let you know that the next Chrome OS laptop slash network, whatever you want to call it, is here. And it is obviously running Google's own Chrome OS. And the first uh, Chrome OS uh, network and laptop that was out was called the CR48, got out in 2010. And Google basically released that to a lot of, you know, for free, you know, sent it out to people. And, uh, um, and uh, now something finally is here with their first one, you know, that would come this summer and it's here now and iFigure.com have got a tear down of this device so I thought if we let you know that we can get over the specs and uh, you know so first of all some bad things with the CR48 the first Chrome OS uh, netbook uh, was that uh, the bad trackpad and it also had a pretty bad battery life and uh, now with this Samsung Series 5 3G Chromebook oh yeah it's called Chromebook not uh, Netbook, uh, but now when this Chromebook is out, it got obviously got a better trackpad and a better battery life and a little more slim, but perhaps a better quality build because uh, it's not that expensive, it's not that cheap, so that is obviously good. And iFix.com have got a six out of ten if you want to repair it, you know, repair repairability score. So it's obviously good to know. A little slimmer as well. Um, so better battery life and better trackpad and also this new improved Atom processor, the N570 uh, that will have 512k more L2 cache if you compare it to the CR48, first one. And also better battery life that is going to have a 1.8 amp hours and will fire at you in 7.4 watts. So that is good, that's very good. Or maybe not watts, but um, volts, maybe. Yeah, don't know, but um, perhaps pretty good. And you don't have to use any like cooling system, you shouldn't like have to worry about that because you aren't like going to overclock this one and the ship doesn't produce that much heat, so that's always good. And also under the keyboard, they found the Synaptix T130 to OA. This uh, touch screen, uh, that must be the trackpad. That is obviously a better version than the first one, so that's obviously good. And uh, the processor, as I already said before, 1.66 gigahertz of Intel Atom Dual Core N570 processor, and the chipset is the Intel One, the M NM10 Express chipset. So good, good, good. 2 GB of RAM, no 4 GB here, but hey, it's a Chromebook, you know, you only live in your browser, so you will be good with that. A 16 GB of SSD SanDisk drive, so yeah, very good. Also, 4 channel high definition audio codec from Realtek, the ALC272. So yeah, and this is what it looks like. They have teared down the Samsung Leo Chromebook there. It looks really good, and uh, you only need like uh, three different uh, parts, three tools to tear down this device. You need first a spudger, then a plastic opening tool, and then Philips number one screwdriver. So very good there. So that is the Chromebook. Hopefully we'll see some other Chromebooks come out from some other manufacturers like I'm not sure, but uh, some other manufacturers, no, not just Samsung, and I think that's going to come out from other manufacturers, so I'm really looking forward to that, because we need some more competition. You know, we only got one series out right now, and that is this one, Samsung Series 5, 3G Chromebook, so yeah, hopefully we'll see that this summer. See you.